These designs were almost as memorable as the movies themselves. I believe you are expecting me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best costume designs in movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most influential costume designs throughout the decades that helped to make their films even more unforgettable. Bonus points were given for originality, historical accuracy, and good old-fashioned razzle-dazzle. Give them the old razzle-dazzle. Number 10. The Great Gatsby The whole city packed into automobiles and all weekend, every weekend, ended up at Gatsby's. Highlighting the decadence of the Roaring Twenties in the biggest way possible, everything is over the top to mirror Gatsby's ambition in this Art Deco-soaked adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel. And just like in a well-planned party, no detail is lost in the costuming. From the flamboyant to the subdued, every bit of design works in drawing viewers into Gatsby's world. Kinda takes your breath away, doesn't it? Although the film received mixed reviews overall, the look of the thing was overwhelmingly lauded by both critics and audiences, and it was nominated for Best Costume Design from many different award circles, including the Academy Awards, which it won. You can't repeat the past. Can't repeat the past. Number 9. Titanic Goodbye, I'll miss you! Goodbye! Goodbye! I'll never forget you! Recreating the famous passenger liner wasn't the only colossal undertaking in James Cameron's 1997 blockbuster. According to designer Deborah Lynn Scott, it took 50 people a full year to costume the entire cast. Accurate costumes in this dramatic period piece helped to draw audiences into the story of the doomed ship and the star-crossed lovers aboard. All right. Open your eyes. But it also told a subtle story underneath. Scott was able to use style and texture to bring out Rose's character, using fiery reds hidden under heavy adorned blocks to depict the feisty spirit being buried under social traditions. With so much attention to detail, 20 years on the film has barely aged a day. Yeah, yeah. To make me count. Number 8. Cleopatra Mark Antony, how prompt you are. If I had not been, it would be unforgivable of me. Taking a swing in the completely opposite direction on the historical accuracy scale is this Liz Taylor classic. But despite falling short in the realism department, the costume designers were able to achieve the fabled, outrageous splendor of the Egyptian queen and her court. Lavish, oversaturated, and unbashedly reveling in every hue Technicolor had to offer, it wasn't just the Egyptian queen that made a big scene. With CGI slipping into almost every Hollywood film these days, we are likely never to see a costume production of this scale on screen again. As the ever-decked-out Cleopatra, Elizabeth Taylor broke a Guinness record at the time for most costume changes in a film, changing 65 times into increasingly wild get-ups. I asked it of Julius Caesar. I demand it of you. Number 7. Amadeus He gave me that longing, and then made me mute. Okay, we admit that one could make a solid argument that some of the costumes here haven't aged well. Between the plastic wigs, polyester dresses, and really poor lace jobs, this one is starting to show its wear as an 80s job. It captured more than enough Mozartian atmosphere to convince the Oscar committee to hand over a gold statue to costume designer Theodore Pischtek. While the look isn't perfect, viewers love the cream puff hairdos, velvet slippers, and tight bodices. On top of that, Amadeus set a high standard for costuming in period pieces and paved the way for future films. That really does rock Mozart. They're all so beautiful. Why don't I have three heads? <laughs> <laughs> Number 6. Star Wars Franchise Stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! Drawing inspiration from old comics, westerns, classic cinema, and Japanese tales, the look of Star Wars has been frequently imitated, but never duplicated. What the hell are you doing? Somebody has to save our skins. <laughs> At the time of A New Hope's release in the late 70s, it went completely against the grain in almost every way. Robes, full helmets, and tunics taking the place of traditional shiny spacesuits and overtly futuristic fashions. In doing so, George Lucas and team created something that was at once familiar and totally exotic. From Han Solo's space cowboy trappings to Darth Vader's cape and samurai-inspired armor, to the sleek and menacing presence of the Empire, the echoes of Star Wars have rung through almost every sci-fi endeavor since. 
Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. Number 5. West Side Story In this 20th century take on Romeo and Juliet, a lot of the work to highlight the two contrasting worlds is done through color and costuming. On one hand, there are the Jets, the Caucasian gang of Lincoln Square on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. While they stand out against the backdrop of their own world, they are practically drab when pinned against the vibrant Puerto Rican gang, the Sharks. Bait it. At the heart of the story are the innocent Maria and Tony, gamely in white and yellow upon first meeting, but in defeated grey and passionate red by the end. It's a little heavy-handed, but it did win designer Irene Sheriff an Oscar. You all killed him! And my brother! And Rick! Not with bullets and guns! Number 4. The Lord of the Rings Franchise Dear God, no. Good to see you. <laughs> Costume designer Nyla Dixon certainly had her work cut out for her when she signed up to help Peter Jackson bring his magnum opus to life. She had to costume not just a few beloved characters, but an entire world. Along with fellow costume designer Richard Taylor, she did an absolutely stand-up job. Creating culture and themes between each remarkably distinct race in Middle-earth would have been no easy task. From the pastoral hobbits to the earthy but enthralling elves to the brutally savage orcs. But somehow it all came seamlessly together. Like all great epics, the look of this one is distinct enough to be immediately identifiable, but relatable enough to be timeless. Let us together rebuild this world that we may share in the days of peace. Number 3. Memoirs of a Geisha When life goes well, it's a sudden gift. It cannot last forever. Set in Japan before and after World War II, this movie presents a dreamlike Western gaze on Kyoto at a time when Western culture was just beginning to influence the land of the rising sun. The hundreds of costumes required for this film, most of them hand-painted silk kimonos, were created by designer Colleen Atwood in just five months. You cannot call yourself a true geisha until you can stop a man in his tracks with a single look. Like in many films, color was used to bring out certain character traits in what Atwood considered her mood palette. This exceptionally careful attention to detail makes for some truly arresting scenes, like Chio's transformation, Sayuri's snow dance, and the chairman and Sayuri's walk beneath the cherry blossoms. You have to save our life when we can. The lesson of the cherry blossom. Number 2. Moulin Rouge Spectacular! Spectacular! Spectacular indeed! Has there ever been a musical as high-octane as this one? To bring that energy to life and in a way that might do justice to the star's incredible singing performances, costume designers Catherine Martin and Angus Strathy pulled no punches. Drawing inspiration from body late 19th century Paris cabaret, as well as the allure of classic musicals, they created a vibrantly superficial look for all the characters involved. This works perfectly to propel the film's restricted plot, creating a story in which the whole world truly is a stage and every interaction a show. By blurring the lines, this romantic musical becomes so much more than a wacky cabaret. Come back to me and forget. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. But I'm sure any of our Atlanta Bills would be proud but to. Dr. Mead, I said Mrs. Charles Hamilton. I suggest we go back the same way we came. Through the canyon. Number 1. The Wizard of Oz Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Groundbreaking in scope, nothing quite like this film had ever been attempted before. In fact, the costumes and makeup were considered so good at the time that some of the younger viewers were frightened by the characters. The last to go will see the first three go before her. <laughs> Between the hundreds of extras and precise costuming for the leads, achieving the storybook look took hundreds of hours. Today, it stands as one of the most iconic movies in cinema history. Every costume and character from this fairy tale brought to life is instantly recognizable. From flying monkeys to the cowardly lion's saggy baggy fur to Dorothy's ruby slippers, which are now on display at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.